What's up everyone? Welcome to Profit Data. So today uh, we are going to create a mobile Android application in Python. Okay. So uh, I wanna create a smart app such as stock market analysis retention rates. Okay. So earlier, uh, if you know that if you do any kind of a Python programming, okay. So say suppose if it is uh, in your uh, VPS, that is virtual private server or a cloud, cloud based server. Okay. So you have that program uh, running in that server. So you can uh, like have it in your mobile. Okay. You can run that in system and can then check in your mobile okay so the main part is like you in front to go with a fully automated system but it is best preferred that have an server okay so that is how it needs to be done okay in the same category say suppose if i, I want to go with some of uh, like you know semi auto pro, uh, automated process okay so that is also i can you utilize uh, this uh, some kind of application i can create or otherwise I can run in PyDroid. Okay, so the part for the PyDroid I have been done uh, in one of my uh, videos. Okay, so you can watch where uh, just installation of an application you can run or analyze. Okay, so some of the things I must say. Here uh, what I am doing, I won't give the code as like, you know, for a fully automated purpose because, uh, you know, it is kind of a risky but I try to give some of the semi-automated process. Okay, so like that, what I'm doing, I, I'm doing for myself. Okay, so like, you know, I have some like, you know, PDFs for learning purpose, audio and video as well. So that is also will be like, you know, in an app, which I can open in my mobile. Okay, so if I'm looking for any kind of a data science, machine learning, deep learning, artificial intelligence, or looking for Python basics, for that reason, I'm creating this app. So I will keep that one and few of the like, you know, uh, I try to like, you know, uh, code some of the trade tool as well, the semi automated process and even from analysis point of also I will do. So some of the communication like, you know, we'll try to do with uh, a mobile application and we will check what can be done. So mainly this is a special like, you know, I will try to provide the code in semi automated process as well. Okay, not giving it as an application, but as a learning purpose. So which you can uh, try and check. So if you just uh, get that code and again, you know, put it so you can analyze and if you want to trade, so that is also can be done. So like, you know, a number of videos which have been already done. So that is also can be utilized. Okay. So same other factors which you can utilize. Now, uh, many other things are there, uh, which is uh, supporting as a mobile application. Earlier in this case, I believe that Kiwi is one of the best. Now Kiwi, what happens? Uh, it works in your uh, desktop application as well. Okay. Then what you can do? You can convert your .py to .apk. And uh, if you want to like, you know, uh, like, you know, publish in Google store. So that is also can be done with this thing. So we will see all of these things later in my videos. But first I will like, you know, as an introduction. I will go with these things and we will try uh, like, you know implement as much as possible okay uh, so uh, so for this stuff i must say that you required a pip install okay so we'll open our cmd okay and we will say pip install kb okay so if we say this stuff it will like you know install each and everything so as you can see, these are uh, the modules which is required from the Kiwi. So it will install each and everything. Okay. So that's it then. As per the installation, it's done. Okay. And uh, whatever the application or you create, okay, uh, that will be uh, like, you know, uh, the communication happens will be in a smooth. Okay. So it can be like, you know, for Python desktop publication as well and for Android. Okay, so let's go with the coding part. So I will import. So I will say for am um, dot app. Okay. So from kb dot app. 
import app okay and the next thing uh, for initialization we must say that you know we required a box layout for that reason we will say pb dot uix dot box layout uh, in that we will import box layout okay so in another two category which need to be followed after creating the box layout okay we have to give it in a label and then we have to give it in a button okay so here i will give it this as a label and then import them uh, same as uh, goes with this one uh, we will give it in button and then import the button okay uh, now we will go with a class so we will say the class uh, smart app okay which we will call this app and the next we will define the build module which is build in self which we will give it and the next we have to give it the layout this layout is just as an initialization in which we will say box layout okay for this orientation will be a vertical okay so layout is done now we will call this as a layout dot add underscore project and we will call the first thing is the label for that label we have like you know text so what will be text welcome to welcome to stock market analysis retention trades so this will be my app name this dot m dot a dot r dot t okay so smart okay so here done and then we have to give a font size as well for this label which will be font underscore size equals 24 sp okay so we are done and then next uh, same thing uh, goes with the button okay so we'll copy this stuff and we will remove and add as per required so here i will say as a start learning so on the button it will appear as this and uh, say on press on press i will define a module so i will call that one self dot on underscore button underscore press okay so here the label part is replaced with the button okay and the next thing is I will define uh, one more uh, module which will say on underscore button underscore press which will say self comma instance okay and just uh, give a simple print uh, so print in the sense that will be like you know So you will get this as uh, in your Python. Okay. So 
so these are the things which need to be done and while uh, different this one the return layout will be there so here done and then uh, simply I just call this stuff so for what I have to say if name ok equals name then the smart app dot run parenthesis ok so you will run it so if there is no error we will give we will get our application so this is how uh, the application looks like ok so it is depend on yours how exactly you want to create it's just uh, like you know as an introduction so I have done these things so if I click on this stuff ok it will reach to another page and I can check what needs to be done ok so this part I will uh, like you know series of videos will be there so I must say that uh, just be in touch ok for that reason please do subscribe ok thanks for watching please do like share if you have any doubt regarding this video please do comment below if you have any other queries or requirements please do contact me direct by whatsapp thank you